What I'd like to talk about is the GoPro Hero 11 Black. It debuted this morning at 9 o'clock a.m. on the GoPro channel. Every year, we all know, GoPro came, comes out with a new action camera. I've had every GoPro but the GoPro Hero 10 Black. From the original GoPro Hero all the way through the GoPro Hero 9. The last one I purchased was the GoPro Hero 9. I did not purchase the GoPro Hero 10 because there was not a lot of big difference. It had a little bit more detail in the footage. Low light performance wasn't any better. So the GoPro Hero Black debuted this morning at nine o'clock a.m., my friends. It has a, supposed to be a bigger sensor, okay? And when we're talking about sensor sizes, the GoPro Hero 10 Black has a sensor size that is one over two thirds sensor, a one over 2.3 sensor which is 6.17 by 4.55 millimeter. That's the GoPro Hero 10. Okay, the new GoPro Hero 11 Black says it has a bigger sensor, which is a one over 1.9 sensor, which, uh, which is 6.4 millimeters by 5.6 millimeters. So if you look at the GoPro Hero 10 and the GoPro Hero 11 Black, very, very little difference in the sensor size. See here? GoPro Hero 11, 6.4 by 5.6 millimeter. GoPro Hero 10 Black, 6.14, 6.17 by 4.55 millimeter. Very, very little difference. So what does that mean? Why am I making this video? If you love action cameras, or if you're out riding a bike, jogging, and you wanna get action footage, the GoPro cameras are the way to go. But if you're vlogging, guess what? Your smartphone, if you're, especially if you're stationary blogging, your smartphone would be a better option. If you got like a iPhone SE second generation up to the iPhone, uh, what iPhone 13 Pro Max, and they just came out with a new iPhone 14 Pro Max, that would be better for stationary blogging than a GoPro camera. GoPro cameras, you cannot beat them for action footage. You cannot beat them. But the bottom line is, baby, one hour before dark, do not, do not, do not lie to yourself. And I'm not going to lie to myself. If you've got good lighting outdoors, good sun, even on some, sometimes super uh, heavy overcast, super heavy overcast days, GoPro footage does not look that good because it has a super small sensor. So if you're expecting a, a, a boost in low light quality and low light performance in the new GoPro Hero 11 Black, you will be big time disappointed big time because until they put a one inch sensor in the camera a gopro you can forget get, getting good low light footage a one inch sensor or bigger you even with a one inch sensor you will struggle in low light if it's very low light but a one inch sensor would be the way to go so dji pocket 2 this if i'm walking through town or if i'm hiking on the appalachian trail i prefer the dji pocket 2 for blogging and talking to the camera it shoots 4K, 60 frames per second, uh, 100 megabytes per second. That's a, that's a lot of footage, it, but pretty good detail. It's got great stabilization because it has a mechanical gimbal, the DJI Pocket 2. Anyway, let me show you something. Let me point this out, bear with me, be patient. It's the big old show, the only place to go. Anyway, the DJI Pocket 2, which is this little beautiful jewel right here, Sensor size, one over 1.7. What does that mean? It's 7.6 millimeter by 5.7 millimeter. So, and it has an aperture, which is a 1.8. The DJI Pocket 2 has an aperture of 1.8. A 1.8 is how wide the lens open. It opens up, in other words, all the way. The wider the aperture, the better low light performance also, because it lets more light reach the sensor. The GoPro Hero 10 and a Hero 11, it has a 2.8 uh, lens aperture, which is, it does, in other words, it doesn't open as wide. So, the GoPro Hero 11 Black, 2.8 aperture. GoPro Hero 10 Black has a 2.8 aperture. In other words, the lens doesn't open that wide. The DJI Pocket 2 opens up to 1.8. It opens up wider, the lens does. So why do you get better low light uh, performance with a DJI Pocket 2? It has a 
of a 1.7 size sensor, which is 7.6 millimeter by 5.7 millimeter. The Hero 11 is 6.4 millimeter by 5.6. So it's slightly bigger than the, uh, the GoPro cameras. And the aperture, the lens opens up wider. So if you wanna walk on the Appalachian Trail and talk, walk around through the town and talk, point out to show things in your town, go with the DJI Pocket 2. But if you're mountain biking, riding on the trail or riding a motorcycle, or if you're skiing or if you're jogging, go with the GoPro Hero 11 Black. Starts out, I think it said $549 or five, $499. If you get the one year subscription, it's $399. I'm also looking forward now to the GoPro Hero 11, the GoPro Hero 11 Black Mini, which debuts, I think it said October the 15th or the 16th, the middle of October, they come out with the GoPro Hero 11 Mini Black. But the bottom line is it has the same size sensor and the one over 1.9 size sensor is basically eight points by eight point, eight by seven. Let me spit it out there, big O, is an eight by seven in other words, sensor. And basically it's almost like a square box. So do not expect great low light footage with your GoPro Hero 11 Black, you will be disappointed. If you want better low light footage, if you're walking around on an outpacking trail, if you got decent lighting, go with the GoPro, D, go with the DJI Pocket 2. If you want to walk and vlog, hike the outpacking trail and talk to the camera, DJI Pocket 2 is a great way to go. It's never overheated. I've recorded two plus hours with no problem, never overheats, it never freezes. The bottom line is though, when it comes to action cameras, GoPro is the king. I love GoPro cameras. Will I get the GoPro Hero 11 blank? I seriously doubt it. I might get the mini because of the small form factor. And I like to do driving videos from time to time and it does pretty good on the dash or your car bumper, the GoPro cameras. So the bottom line is, do not expect great low light footage in a GoPro camera and the new GoPro Hero 11 Black, all the GoPro cameras, my rule of thumb is, I always start recording with the GoPro camera one hour before sundown. Why? Because about, usually about 40 minutes before sundown, when it before it gets completely dark, the footage sucks with a GoPro camera. It looks terrible. It gets splotchy. So that's my rule of thumb. If you're using a GoPro camera, stop one, stop recording one hour before nightfall, one hour before sundown. DJI Pocket 2, no problem. People, I've got important things to do. Like drink an RC Cola and eat some munchies. What is munchies? Cheddar cheese crackers, baby. Cheetos, RC Cola. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like comment and subscribe give me those double thumbs up leave comments down below what do you think about the gopro the new gopro hero 11 black what do you think about my video double thumbs up comments down below share my videos help me to grow right here on the big old show and that's what i'm talking about i will see you all on down the road Woo!